So within within a a watershed, there are many different um, streams, uh, streams, rivers, and tributaries, and we need a way in hydrology uh, to organize them all, to order them, to prioritize them. So you might have a, a watershed here with an outlet here, and it has the main channel here, and then there's branches of these little uh, little tiny streams, right? Um, and it's it's always good to have uh, the different streams and tributaries organized. Um, there's something called Horton's Law, and Horton's Law is basically a way to order these streams, to organize them, and the proper definition is, quote, the stream order or Horton's Law is the stream order is a measure of the degree of stream branching within a watershed and basically it just means um, if I were to study a certain stream let's say this one right here uh, what order is it what what priority is it um, and Horton's Law is a good way to prioritize and organize all these streams so let's go over um, how the law works um, it's actually pretty simple and it can get pretty fun when the watershed gets complicated um, so let's say we had a stream it's just a stream here there's an outlet here this would simply be a first order stream all right now if we had uh, two streams that come together and they form the second stream well the the two branching streams would be uh, priorities one and one and when a one and one meet together they go up in order so they make a two so this stream right here right here is a second order stream and this one and this one are a one order stream right so if we did a more complex example if we had a, a stream here and it, it came or two streams here and it came down here and there's another one coming down here and they they meet to make this giant stream well, this would be a 1 and a 1 and a 1, all right? And where a 1 and a 1 meet, they make a second order stream. Now, here's where things start to get interesting. You have a, a 2 and a 1 here. So this is a second order stream. This is a first order stream. What would this order be? Well, it would not be 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. When two different or, uh, stream orders come to meet, the the resulting stream is the priority of the largest previous stream so in this case the largest stream priority here would be number two and you have a number one here right so this would be a second order stream because when a two and a one come together the two is larger so we just continue with two all right and then let's have a little bit more complex you have a stream here stream here stream stream uh, and then they meet together here and then they continue going down okay so all of the ones on the outside the, would be a priority number one okay where a one and a one meet they make a priority number two so here's another one this is two now where a two and a two meet at this point would make a three right anytime you have two streams that come together of the same priority they bump up to the next order so you have a one and a one they meet together they make a two you have a two and a two they come together and they make a three and so on and so forth so this is the law uh, pretty simple um, there's actually one more thing I want to talk about and we'll do an example in the next video uh, we can use this law to uh, calculate drainage drainage density density well you don't really need this law to calculate drainage density so I guess this is a separate topic but the drainage density is is equal to LT over a this the drainage density is basically the ratio of the total stream length um, over the area of the watershed the total uh, stream length would be the length of all of these uh, rivers streams and tributaries so we come to this original uh, picture here it'd be the length of 
this one plus 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 this one the total length of all these streams and rivers will be LT and you divide it by the area of the watershed which is the area bounded by um, the ridges and the, and the high points right so the area of the watershed that's the drainage density all right so in the next example we'll do kind of a comprehensive example or in the next video we use we'll do a comprehensive example using Horton's law and drainage density all right see you then